This guy here wants $42,000 for his Land Cruiser, an 80 series. That's bloody high tide. Pilligan National Park. That damn food it needs to be. Hey guys, so basically over around the past five months I've been considering bringing another vehicle onto the channel. Um, ever since the Ranger Raptor left I feel like there's been a little bit of a void in content um, with a different type of vehicle. So um, a few of you may have not seen that live video I, I did um, a little while back um, and I explained in that where the Ranger Raptor went but for you guys that don't know basically it was just a relationship break up with me and my ex-missus so that's why the Ranger Raptor left left the uh, the channel because she took that vehicle so I'll just leave that at that but um yeah so I'm looking to get another vehicle for the channel I was considering a 60 series um, but I was a bit hesitant just for the age of the vehicles that I could find um, a lot of rust issues couldn't really find a nice um, good tidy bodied one and then also trying to get one with a diesel in it as well. Um, I found a few petrol ones that had really tidy uh, bodies and chassis and stuff, but nothing kind of just kind of come up. There, were, there was one around 12 months ago when I should have bought it, but again, I just um, sat on my hands and I didn't, I didn't buy it. So I didn't really have the money then to buy it either. So, but anyway, that's just the way it goes. So instead of a 60 series, I've been looking for an 80 series been really struggling to find an 80 series um, I really want to get back into doing hard tracks and stuff that's why I'm going this route with the vehicle so I want to go back to start doing things like Killy Loop and all that stuff I used to do on my Ranger I really miss that style of driving and, and those sorts of trips and just bring some some gnarly kind of content to the channel um, doing some of those tough tracks and stuff so um, I really miss doing that sort of thing so that's why I'm leaning towards 80s 80s AG series, leaning towards the 80 series. Um, I was looking at 100 series as well, but the 100 series are still a little bit too hefty in price for what I want to do with the vehicle and the mods I want to make and stuff like that. So I think 80 is where it's at. Um, comment below if you guys can think of another vehicle I haven't really thought of. I need something reliable, turbo diesel. Um, something readily parts that are readily available for that vehicle as well so if I get stuck somewhere I can probably find parts for it um, I was gonna do a Bronco but those vehicles are just too rare now to uh, to get parts and stuff for and if I got stuck on the tracks she'd be uh, definitely getting towed home um, because you just can't find the parts for those things anymore so over the, around the past five months, I've just been kicking around on Facebook Marketplace, car sales and stuff. Every couple of weeks, I'll jump on there and have a look, and nothing's really popped up until this week. So, I have found a 80 series um, that's, it's not in too bad a condition. Um, it's definitely going to need a wrap or, or the paint redone and stuff like that, but it is diesel, it's a manual. Um... She's a little bit rough. She definitely needs some attention. I think the price is a little bit high for what the vehicle is because I can get some pretty tidy ones for around the 15 grand mark with good paint, good suspension already on them and stuff like that, even though I'm going to change the suspension, but um, they have bar work and roof racks and things like that. But I'm trying to get a clean stock one because I don't want to be paying for mods that I don't want because I want to build it up myself. So... I'm gonna go and look at this one probably tomorrow. Go and look at this 80 series. Um, there was 100 series that I found, but I think it sold yesterday before I got a chance to uh, email the guy about it. So unfortunately I missed out on that one. Um, so if you guys know of an 80 series, hit me up on Instagram. So I'm just basically after the turbo diesel. Um, yeah, I want a tailgate, um, rear door and stuff. I think, uh, don't quote me, but you guys might know, I'm not really up on the whole Land Cruiser specs and like GXL and all that sort of stuff because I think they had a, I think it was the um, 
was it the GX had the barn style rear doors? Um, anyway, drop it below what the difference is. I don't know why some have a tailgate and some have barn doors. I think that was a model, like the base model had barn doors or whatever, the, the just the normal opening doors. This guy here wants $42,000 for his Land Cruiser. I mean, it's a, it's a tidy truck, but <laughs> not for that sort of money. The market's the market, and the market dictates uh, what you're going to pay. So, unfortunately, I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place regarding this 80 series. Um, so, yeah. Unfortunately, he, he knows what he's got. That guy knows exactly what he's got and what everyone's after. And, unfortunately, we're all after the same thing um, currently, which is, yeah. It's weird how these, these trucks um, get the value that they do back, especially the Land Cruisers, like, during COVID, they're just, all the prices have gone through the roof. The 60 series is starting to get up there um, for a tidy, tidy 60 series. Um, the ones with rust and stuff are only barely pulling five to 10 grand. Um, but the tidy 80 series are definitely, especially with that, the turbo diesel. Um, yeah, they're still pretty pricey. So my parents actually had, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to, if I could find that vehicle, I'd be stoked, but they actually had a 1996 um, auto with the turbo diesel motor. I forget the 1HZ or whatever. I forget the terminology with with Toyotas. So I'm more of a Ford dude. <laughs> but um, yeah, they had a 1996 model and they just bought it when my brother was born. Um, I've got some photos of that. I'll throw them up now of that vehicle. If I could find that, that'd be sick. Just a just the sentimental value of that vehicle to bring it bring it back and do it up and but who knows where that thing now could be it could be wrecked stolen parted out um it could be a completely different color it could there be someone's pride and joy and who knows where that thing's ended up now but um i've got a few leads um from who my parents sold it to he's still friends with my parents and then I'm going to contact him and then ask him who he sold it to. If he still has their number, then I'll ring them and then follow it down the line to hopefully maybe someone still has it. Um, but that was a long time ago now. So fingers crossed. We'll see what happens. So the F250 um, that we have on the channel now, um, that I built that truck um, because I needed that truck for work, so I use it for work a lot, and it also gets me able, it allows me to get away, get up the beach, um, do um, some camping and stuff and all the rest of it, and do some long sort of style touring, which last year I was planning until COVID kind of wrecked everything on me, so. This year we do have, and here's a little sneaky, that I will be going to the Fink Desert Race this year. Um, so I'm teaming up with a few companies, um, trying to line everything up right now to go through the desert, um, be at the race, um, be with a company there at the race. So until it's all locked in and it's all a goer, um, it's 90% at the moment, um, then I'll tell you guys what's going to be happening. So there's a bit of heads up on the future stuff of the channel, full trip across the Simpson, um, the Fink Desert race and stuff like that. So hopefully I might see some of you guys out there. But um, that's what the F250 was built for, those sort of trips. Um, I do want to do a trip from like Newcastle to WA and stuff like that. I want to go to Darwin. And it's also built to do like a full lap of the country. Um, so, but I want to, I want to get a, an 80 series or something that I can do tough tracks on um, things like Killy Loop and stuff like that, um, or going up the Wadigans, um, going up Barrington's for a weekend, doing some tough tracks and that, and then, uh, yeah, finding camp and stuff like that. So, um, kind of the, I don't want to tell you too much because I kind of like to keep the build kind of under wraps what I'm going to do with it, but bloody, <laughs> I don't know if you guys know, um, Sam Miles from Built Not Bought. I've been following him for a long time. I think I've been following him since he had like 15,000 subscribers. And um, he bloody, turn, he got, he's got his 80 series and he's turning it into like a panel van style truck. He's welded up all the, the back end of it. And I just had that idea last year that an 80 series all welded up would look sick. So he bloody beat me to it. But um, that thing should be should be pretty sweet. I can't wait to, I've been following those uh, builds that Sam's been doing and that should be a pretty tidy rig by the time it's done. So he's definitely going all out on that thing. So I'm pumped to uh, pumped to see that. But yeah, mine will probably be um, just super clean, tidy truck. Probably end up wrapping it. 
um, probably do some pretty substantial suspension with some pretty decent shocks and stuff. Um, run some 35s, I'd imagine, with some method race wheels and just do a few different things. Um, I won't tell you too much, but yeah. So just a real clean 80 series and just the way I'm gonna set it up with the battery system and stuff like that. Drawers, fridge, it'll, it'll just be a little bit different than what everyone else does. So because the F250 is kind of slowing down now, uh, the, the long range tank and also the snorkel for that truck, um, I haven't been able to justify them yet. Um, I didn't want to spend that much money just when the truck, I have, wasn't planning on doing any trips um, through COVID because we couldn't obviously. So now that I have a trip getting lined up at the moment to the Simpson, um, the tank is now booked in to get done, the long range fuel tank down at the out of town four wheel drive. Um, so that'll be happening. And then I'm also going to see Jake down at Tuneworks here at uh, Raymond Terrace near Newcastle to get a five inch snorkel fitted custom snorkel fitted to the F250 so with that it'll basically yeah we'll do a full video on the snorkel and stuff and also I want to get some sliders some custom side steps I took the chrome side steps off the F250 so yeah definitely want to get some custom side steps and that as well but I think we need a tough tracked vehicle and I mentioned this when I just got the F250 wrapped I'd like to get a um either a, a 60 series or an 80 series and build it up just completely different but to what everyone else does something really sick go and do some gnarly tracks camp overnight and um yeah just bring some some more content to the channel as well um because again the f250 was all planned out for this sort of thing last year but it just didn't happen due to covid so and um i'm not a big channel guys this isn't a big channel so i can't justify just to pack up and do these big trips because i have i have big commitments at work and stuff like that so until the channel can justify me packing up and telling everyone guru, <laughs> then yeah, unfortunately work comes first. So if you know of someone that has a, a, um, an 80 series with the tailgate in the rear, uh, turbo diesel, nice tidy vehicle that hasn't been flogged, um, yeah, definitely hit me up. Um, I do have a budget. I've been really busy with work at the moment, um, getting things happening back at work. So that's kind of why the channel's been a little bit slow for the past few weeks because I've actually been just flat out. But um, yeah. So F250, a few more mods come with that. Big trip this year. Um, some really exciting new uh, partnerships or sponsorships with some pretty uh, significant companies here in Australia, which I'm super excited about. Um, so hopefully that stuff comes comes to, to light and um, yeah, looking for an 80 series, unless you guys have a better suggestion that I haven't thought of, drop it in the comments and we're gonna start start a sweet build on an 80 series. Um, just gonna go right through everything, buying a budget stock truck and getting some bar work, suspension, wheels, tires, selecting different, just, just everything, go through everything. Um, how I'm gonna set up the rear end of it with the drawers or a fridge or and the, the power system, how I'm gonna do it. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be very, very versatile um, four wheel drive this thing. So a little bit different to what everyone else does, not the typical setup. So anyway, guys, that's it for this episode and I'll catch you to the next one. See yous.